say that you have a uh, big interest in preschool education. I think this is, this is an area that we don't invest any money in. And I think it's really important to get some of these kids off to a good start. The sooner you can catch them, the ones that might have problems, the better off you are, you know. And um, so I, I agree with you. I think we need to do some um, early education more than we have been doing. I think it starts, um, to me, with with studying the need. I brought bills to create a pilot program, and and folks said, well, now we, we can't do that because we don't know what the need is, and it's a slippery slope, and all those all those arguments. But And so then I decided, well, if that's the case, then let's study the need and, and look at it factually. Well, uh, the legislature defeated that one. And so I'm looking forward to creating that a broader conversation about the importance of early childhood education. And the data is there. It shows the economic impact, the social impact. Um, I think you'd find that broad support across South Dakota of the importance of early childhood education. And we have to continue to give access. There's uh, roughly 15,000 kids that don't have any access to early childhood education. So that's another conversation that I hope to elevate and work with our local school districts and work with our, our community leaders and, and businesses as well. You know, I'm interested in the conversation about even some public-private partnerships uh, as it relates to early childhood education and to get everybody at the table so we can have a real conversation about the impact of our future. Because you're either going to pay for it now or you're going to pay for it later uh, with, with drop, higher dropout rates, increase incarceration, um, issues that are costing us a lot more money on the back end than if we'd make a small investment on the front end. Especially like, well, like drug addiction and things. That's the age when kids are really influenced is when they're really little. If they're getting good role models, then they, they make the right choices. But if they don't have the, the good role models at home when they're young, and they see things going on, they may follow that path too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think I've, it's something I've been concerned about um, since I got into the legislature. I, I didn't realize our lack of support for early childhood education until I actually got to peer and saw what was going on. And then you get to looking at the research and, and the data, and then it makes me even more concerned that we're, we're not doing a good enough job. And so we have a lot of work to do on that project.